Hi everyone, this is me Kiran Khan and today I am here with another video, a full body workout video for you all um, which you can do every day including Sundays. It's only 15 minutes long and it's broken into 3 sets. It's uh, 7 exercises, 3 sets and it's 30 seconds on and with the 10 second rest and you can do this workout anywhere in the house, in your lounge, in your lawn, anywhere in your ter on your terrace. You just need a gym mat and a water bottle and a video a phone to play this video for you guys and you can do this exercise with me and you can post comments and what exercise you are looking for and let's get on with the workout so the first exercise is the jumping jab I'm gonna set my timer for 30 10 uh, do the jumping jab fast and controlled uh, for high impact and for low impact do it without the jump is the high knees bring your knees up to your hip level and remember to breathe and do it fast So the 10 second rest is coming up, use it wisely and the next exercise is the mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, hands directly under the shoulder, core tight, glutes tight, core, engage your core and bring your knee as close as to the, your elbow and do it fast. Keep the core engaged and breathe. Next exercise is the squat jumps. Do a regular score and touch the floor. Come back up and jump and touch from the other hand. Keep the back straight, core engaged, glutes engaged and sit down in a chair position. Next exercise is the burpees. Start with a push up position, hands directly under the shoulder, and jump to a squat position and stand up and jump again. For low impact, don't do the push up or the jump, and for high impact, add a push up and jump. Next exercise is the push up with two mountain climbers. Do a regular push up and do mountain climbers. And if you are unable to do a push up with your feet, do it with your knees on the floor. So the last exercise of the first set is the backward lunges. Step back and sit down in a lunge position and come directly back up. 
Remember, your knee will not cross your feet. After a one minute break, we're going to start our next exercise with side plank bent knee dips. So you're going to start with arm directly under your shoulder. You're going to bend your knees and lift your hip high up as you can and lower back down. You're going to keep your core engaged, hip nice and tight and you're going to bring it up and down, up and down. And we're going to repeat this set on the other side as well. So we are ending on our left side, now we are going to switch side and do it on our right side. Quickly change your side, arm directly under the shoulder, bend your knees, core nice and tight, body straight up, back straight and we are going to go up and down. Next exercise is the cross back lunges. You will stand up tall, neck straight, shoulder straight and you will cross the leg behind you and lunge. You will not twist your shoulder, you will not twist your neck. You will keep it straight and just cross the leg behind you and dip it into a lunge. So our next exercise is the rocking plank. You will plank on your elbow, core nicely tight and engaged and you will not lift your hips up or make a bend in your back. You will keep your back straight and move your feet up and down. Up and you will be doing all the work from your shoulder and your feet. Next exercise is the pike push up. Pike push up, you will make a bridge and try to do push up with your shoulder. You will try to touch your head on the ground and come back up. This exercise works your arm, shoulder, chest, back, and core and it helps you strengthen up your upper body. Our next exercise is the plank jacks. Do a regular plank, palms directly under your shoulder, back straight up, core nice and tight, you will jump in and out. Our next exercise is the crab toe touches. Sit on the floor with your feet in front of you and hands behind you. Then lift your hip up and try to touch your right hand with the left leg and left le hand with the right leg. And do not sit on the floor. If you're a beginner, you can sit and do it. And if you're uh, one level up, you can 
keep your hips lifted and try to do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Set number 3, first exercise, plank shoulder taps. It is the advanced variation for planks and you do a regular directly under your shoulder and you will try to touch your one hand in the opposite shoulder. It will work your core and it will work your shoulders. For beginners, try to do it with the knees on the ground. For advanced, try to keep your legs as straight and core engaged. Next up is the Russian twig. It will work your obliques, your core. Sit back in a C-sit position and try to rotate your shoulder over one side to the other. Keep your back straight and try to keep your legs as straight as firm as possible. And if for high intensity, you can lift your legs up. Only move your shoulders, not your face. Next up is bicycle crunch. Lie flat on the floor with your lower back pressed on the ground. Put your hands behind your head and bring your knee towards your chest and lift your shoulder blades. For beginners, you can put your feet on the ground and do it one by one. Cross it and back down. Cross it and back down. Do not pull your neck. Do not jerk. Keep it nice and steady. Next exercise is the plank with toe taps. You will start with a basic plank, you lift your hip up and try to touch your right hand with your left toe, left hand with the right toe. It will engage your shoulder, your core, your lower back muscles. Next exercise is the standard push-ups. We all know how to do a push-up. Get down on the floor, palms slightly outside their chest, and you will come down and push back up. Come down and push back up. Hands will be directly under your chest. And for beginners, you can do it with your knees on the floor and try to do as many as possible in 30 seconds. Next exercise are the glute bridges. Lie face up on the floor, keep the knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep your arms at your side and palms down. Lift your hips off the ground until your knees and hips shoulder form a straight line. Try to hold the position and squeeze your glutes in. And that's the workout guys good job on going through all of the workout just keep pushing yourself and you will see the result please leave a comment down below on how you're progressing it will help others to progress as well show me some love by subscribing to my channel and hit the like button